Good to see you guys again for yin yoga. Go ahead and get comfortable anywhere you are at home. And maybe in child pose if you like. And we're starting with a quote. There's a lot of energy going on in my body right now, so I hope this helps you too. Feelings. Feelings are not emotions that happen to you. Instead, feelings are reactions that you choose to have. They show up in your body as energy, tension in your muscles, your joints, and in your mind as self-destructive thoughts. Develop an inner candle flame that won't flicker to even the worst situations that befall upon you. Maybe close your eyes, take your hands in prayer. Imagine that candle inside of you, that flame. If that flame is moving really fast and flickering around, take some calm breaths to calm the energy around, the inner wind and turmoil around that flame. Notice that flame inside of you, that light becomes more steady, unwaving. And then each inhale, feel the warmth from the inside of your heart glow. And each exhale, settle. That your intentions for your yoga practice today. I'm gonna join you in child pose. Next, 
next inhale, breathe into the open rounding in the back. Exhale, soften. Really big inhale. Feel the shoulder blades in the back lift away. Feel the back ribs open. Exhale. Start to notice if you're holding your head up or if you're really letting your neck release and let your head be heavy. As you hold this pose, the only thing in your mind is inflating the back shoulder blades and ribs with each inhale. And each exhale, pouring forward. Stay there if you need to increase that stretch. Hold that longer if you like, or go ahead and release. Taking that arm up, that same arm, and reach back for a tricep stretch. Go ahead and point all the toes and flex. Let's do that one more time. Good. Take that arm across, keeping that arm straight with a tiny little bend in the elbow, drop both shoulders. And then take that same arm, guys, and angle it just a little bit down with a clock hand. Gently press towards you with the other hand. Drop both shoulders. Ooh, I can feel that on the back. Good. Go ahead, release, take the legs forward. Lift the arms up, inhale, Dandasana. Exhale, Paschimottanasana. And just walk your hands gently to one side. And then other side. Go ahead and take the legs and bend the knees and feet together, knees out. Hands to the side and then reach to one side. And then other side. And just two more like that. Taking your time. And then return to the legs coming out to your Abhavishta Konasana. Going on to the other side, extend the arm, inhale and exhale. Start to move a little slower. Take fuller inhales and mounting more in the exhale. One more. Go ahead and find your strap or towel here. We're starting today's class with our hamstring stretches because I'm just really tight here. So I hope this helps you guys too. It may benefit you to place your strap or towel around the top ball of your foot above the arch of the toes. That way when you push the heel away, you have more space to open the back of the leg. Check out your head, check out your shoulders.
and then stay there longer if you like. Or we can go ahead and come up, take that opposite arm to a tricep stretch. Good. And point your toes and flex. And one more, pointing and flex. Ooh, this is really tight for me. Oy. And then take that arm across. Drop both shoulders. Yeah, this shoulder is really tight. It's all connected. <laughs> and then we just take that arm like a claw hand and go a little bit lower diagonal. Gently pull or press in. And then shoulders just drop. Take some huge belly breaths. This is getting into the deltoid. That back shoulder. Nice. Go ahead and take both legs forward again. Lift the arms up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. And then just walk your arms gently to one side. And then the other, you're doing great. Come up, bend the knees. Take the feet together into your diamond legs. We're gonna go into the side stretch once more. And this time add the circle. So we're just gonna go ahead and circle down. And the benefit of this is that you get to lower your head and drop the shoulder, creating that nice pull along the back. And then inhale up, and exhale side around. Take bigger, longer inhales and move slow. Above the arm 
you round forward, guys, your back is going to try to resist. And the reason your back does that, it tightens up as you mount forward, is it's trying to prevent injury. So there's a thing called the Golgi or Golgi tendons, and they react to stretches. That's why um, they change the thought. We no longer encourage bouncing in our stretches because that makes those Golgi tendons tighten. So we encourage soft release. And that will tell those connective tissues you're safe in this stretch. Inhale, breathe into the back, shoulder blades, fits. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Relax, lower the head, shake out the head. And then we add that this leg is really tight. Inhale, open the windows of the back, shoulder blades, ribs, back kidneys. Exhale, now let go of holding in that hip, inner thigh.
towards the bent knee a little bit. And then we walk a little bit towards the straight leg, wherever feels good to you. So if you need to, in this wide angle, bring your legs a little bit closer so you can feel more comfortable and the legs can be straight. I call this the karate chop move. You can call it uh, whatever you want. Um, so you're gonna take the arm and take the back of that hand against the outside of the opposite leg to encourage a little further rotation. So see if I can show you. So we're in our Abhavishta Konasana and we breathe to the side. You can stay here or you can take this opposite hand and just do a kind of a karate chop move and then you're going to press the back of this hand on the outside of this leg. If you want to go forward more, that's great. If you want to bring your legs a little bit more in, or stay up high and keep yourself focused on the rotation. So the back of that hand is pressing against the opposite outside. As you inhale, feel the string lengthen your spine, neck and head up in the center. And then exhale, press the back of that hand against that leg. Inhale, lengthen spine, neck and head. Exhale, press, and then reach a little bit forward and melt. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, a little twist, reach forward and melt.
that's pretty intense, let's go ahead and come out. And go ahead and lay down. So find a strap or a towel, grab that. Take both legs up and then take them wide. If you don't have a strap, take your hands up to hold the back of your legs. Stretch, lengthen, circle the ankles and wrists, and other way around. Take one ankle opposite thigh, and just push that knee away a little bit to open up the front. Stay there if that feels good, or uncross the legs, just keep the legs bent to that side. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms out, push up above you. As you inhale, turn that inside out, Interlaced fingers away above you, up, lengthening and opening the vertebrae, ribs, and exhale, soften both hips, knees, ankles. Inhale, 
know, push away above you anything that's stuck in your mind or body that you don't need now. Exhale, let go and melt both hips, knees, ankles. Wonderful. Release the hands, take them out to a T or low V. Use one hand to hold the top knee bent and extend the other leg straight. Gently use that hand to press on that knee. Use the other hand to physically adjust the ribs a little bit more for a rotation. Shake out the shoulders. Move your head a little side to side. Shake out your shoulders again. And as you inhale, feel your knee and shoulder pulling wide to opposite sides of the room, right and left. Exhale, melt. Jathara Parimartanasana. And then if you like, take that free hand, reach up above you, lengthen. Inhale, exhale, circle forward. And around, inhale, up. Exhale, circle. One more with really long, full breath. If you like, take that bent leg on top and just extend that leg straight. And you'll feel a little bit more pull along the side here.
we stay there if you like, or you have the option of doing the, the rocking or the cradle rock where you take your hands and grab that calf, extend the other leg or bend it, and then a little rock. Wonderful. Let's cross that leg all the way over. And then we drop the knees to one side. So if you don't know which side, then if you can shake that foot, then you drop the knees that way. Oh my goodness. This side is the side I always, oh yeah. And the shoulder's tight for me too. So if you're like me, you can take your arm Instead of a T position, take it to a low V. You can even take that arm on a blanket or pillow. If your shoulder's not uncomfortable. And once again, notice that habitual holding in the joints. So inhale, exhale, let go of holding in both hips, knees, and ankles. Move your head a little bit, check out the shoulders. No tension hiding there either. Anytime you want, stay there longer. This feels really good. <laughs> or if you like, we're just gonna do the same thing we did on the other side. Keep the top leg bent and straighten the bottom leg. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and if you like, just the natural weight of that hand on that leg. Oh, that opens up. Jathar Parivartanamasana. And then inhale, feel that knee and shoulder pull wide. Right and left, away from each other. Exhale, bend. And then 
maybe we should bring our up and some more openness. Inhale, exhale, circle. While you're 
right here on this stretch. If you want, stay there or add that thread the needle with the palm up. like in a jungle. That was kind of cool. So hopefully that felt really good for you on your lower back. I know I felt a lot of opening there. And we're just going to go ahead and come up and add a little more hip release. So we're going into our pigeon stretch. So from here we can come up on all fours and take one knee in and you're bringing that knee to the same side wrist. Turn that calf side and you're in your pigeon. Another way to get in this pose is just to sit side saddle with both knees to one side and bring the top leg back. If you need a deeper stretch, you just move this calf a little more, more forward, but never past 90 degree angle. If you need a deeper stretch, you move this back leg a little further back. Play around with it, bend the knee, bring it closer if you need to, if it's too much for you. And just start by sitting up comfortably. Inhale and exhale, drop your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Melt, allow yourself to be a little heavier. Add a folded blanket or pillow here for support if you need. Inhale, start to add a huge breath in the low belly space here. And exhale, melt a little bit more. that stretch maybe. You can also play around with this and walk a little bit more towards the foot 
area or what I call the kind of ankle area. So normally you kind of walk a little forward and just walk a little bit more towards the area here, away from that knee, I guess. And that will create a little more pull as you root down the sit bones the other way. And that might intensify this stretch, bringing the foot more closer to you. Now, if you want, please stay there longer or we add our thigh stretch. So then you can maybe use a towel under the back knee and reach for that foot. You can use your strap. If you have a tight lower back like I do, and you don't like to hold that foot and arch your back like this and kind of kink your neck, then use a strap and that will release that by making you have a longer distance so you're not arching so much. And then you can get that back a little more comfortable. You can also remind you to drop your shoulders with the strap over there. And then just kind of move that knee to a different area. Move that foot a little bit different, different angle, on different areas. Shift your front weight a little more to the right or left. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Carefully release. Ah, take the legs into a diamond and melt forward. Ah. Walk to one side, Ardha Baddha Konasana. And then other side. We just have pigeon on the other side. So get there by being on all fours and bringing a knee forward or just sit side saddle, bring a leg back. Ooh, my, I'm very, very tight today. like if you don't move you have pain if you move too much you have pain <laughs> ah so let's just even this all out and then if you're like me and you're feeling really tight on a certain side don't worry about coming down Maybe focus on a huge inhale into the belly and then exhale, just dropping your shoulders. So when you drop your shoulders, it's not dropping forward, but it's actually just letting them drop down away from the ears. And maybe just do that. Inhale, breathe huge in the belly. Exhale, just relax the shoulders. side to side. And just by focusing on that alone, it makes things simpler. And then your body will calm down. As your mind calms down with fuller breath in the belly. The rest of the body starts to follow, softening.
pigeon or your ekapada rachikaparasana. You can walk your hands a little bit more towards the foot or the angle here. See if that, ooh, yep, <laughs> there's some opening there. And then again, just drop the head. And then maybe add that thigh stretch. Yeah, this side, <laughs> wow. Ooh. I can't even turn my foot up barely. Wow. Definitely have to use a strap here. Yeah. 